Welcome to Restaurant Wars. Yes. Restaurant Wars is what 90% of the people that come to the competition crave. <laughs> To me, it's given me anxiety and flashbacks of opening a restaurant, because I've done it. It just makes me want to vomit. Well, we can't host hundreds of diners to your bustling pop-ups this year. There is another type of restaurant that is changing the high-end dining experience in cities across the globe. The chef's table. These tasting menu experiences can cost hundreds of dollars a head. Diners are treated like the ultimate VIPs, seated at a table that has a bird's eye view of every move the chef and their team <laughs> make to create the meal. And most importantly, there are no second chances. No pressure. Tomorrow, you'll serve a seven course tasting menu. The judges and all stars will be your one and only service of the night. This we're about it's concepts. To me, where Coles, honestly, is like a fusion between Latin and Asian. Latin. I have orders of how yeah, I do too. coursing for Kaiseki, and I think it makes sense. OK. Do you want to do a Kaiseki with a Latin spin into it? How do you say heart in Japanese? Kokoro. Kokoro. I like that. Kokoro. Kokoro. Because in, in Latino, it's corazón. Corazón. Yeah. So let's play with that. Ko. Ko. Kokoson. I like that. That's good. Yeah. Kokoson. That's a catchy name. My thoughts is like finding a common ground that we can all cook on. Seafood. Yeah. yeah. I love seafood. I mean, Should we just all, all seafood? Just commit. And what's our connection with the seafood? Showcase the Pacific Northwest seafood okay. and, and each of our influences. Okay. Right. What a name. The competition was based off of a penny clip. It's penny. I mean, that's my daughter's name. <laughs> I mean, the name has dual purpose. I'm gonna write down Penny. Byron gets to go report what he heard at the table. Yeah, there's a spy, you guys. <laughs> we had a five-person restaurant once. Thank you for rubbing it in. Five people? But we cooked for five. hundreds of people. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We cooked for mad people. No, I like a server who interrupts a conversation. Yeah, sorry. My apologies. <laughs> oh, me. This is a lot of components. Can I get hands for plates, please? Hands. Are we walking? Yeah, let's walk. Pardon my reach. Thank you. Ooh, nice. That's beautiful. So in Japanese cuisine, we start with a course that introduces a vegetable. Today I use eggplants. With Maria's help, she made a sesame mole. On top is him free cock it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. It's so flavorful. Delicious. It's really good. Really good. <laughs> oh, yes. I love when you can see the technique in a dish. I think it's well executed, it's thoughtful, and refined. They thought it was such a beautiful start, hybriding those Latin flavors with the Japanese flavors. This was one of our best plays, yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, 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 one more coming right up. <laughs> All right. You ready? You done? No, no, I need the sauce. Poppy. Poppy. Okay. You need to go. Well, I mean, dude, follow me with red, dude. I'm not finished with red. It's a little loose right now, guys. There's a little drama here. You have a lot of experience doing a chef's table, right? What are they going through? I loved being on display in some ways, because I liked cooking. I liked the interaction. I needed something so I could stay out of my head. Byron, what do you want me to do? Oil. Let's chill. We're good. We're doing OK. Look at show that's coming down, everybody. You done? That's walk. That's walk. Excuse my reach. Thank you. Mm, beautiful. This course is a collaboration between Jamie and I. So it's a lightly cured sockeye salmon with a rocotto curry sauce and crispy pico. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm a loss for words. It's got so much flavor and, and, and restraint. Lots of different textures. Ooh, I just got a hit of passion fruit. I love the curry. I think this is one of the best curries I've had. I just feel like it really overpowers the salmon. You have a kind of a lingering heat that's a little too much for a second course for me. The salmon on its own, the cure is really nice. It doesn't need the salt. Mm -hmm. So with a chef's table experience, oftentimes you want to interact with the chefs. You want, you know, that's part of the experience, and I'm not feeling it here. It feels so detached. Hey, are you guys having fun in the kitchen or what? We're having a blast, can't you tell? No. <laughs> Are you good? Uh, I hope so. It does not look good. That better be yogurt over there. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My pleasure. I did a halibut crudo with an ajo blanco sauce, some confit green cherry tomato, and some fresh red cherry tomato. Thank you. Of course. There is no connection between the first dish and this dish at all. 
We had raw, cooked, the raw again. I honestly did not enjoy this dish at all. The sauce is kind of grainy and mealy. This dish is like a Grateful Dead concert. It needs acid. So. <laughs>